Hello oh, and welcome back to Snowtopia here on Rawslow Gaming and our last episode here in our one lift challenge on the first map, Frozen Peak. We are going to just fine tune some things and uh, basically show how it ended and it's it's here already so to say how the slopes are, are and everything like that, most probably at least, as you see I've the game quite a bit forwards here and uh, so we have more skiers and more volunteers in uh, we will try to fix some of the problems here but then closed so that is uh, fixable of course and problem Q um, maybe yes no oh, maybe yes yes that's, that's a perfect word in there or not uh, we'll put the gear reducer on and that for now and for now we'll also go uh, full speed here yeah this is still causing a little bit of issues with cues and this is actually very very full of the sunroom here that's interesting that's uh, more full than I've seen anywhere or ever really Waiting for assistance still seems to be an issue too. And we're actually having a decent number of takers here to the panoramic restaurant too. So that's pretty nice. As I said, skiers needing assistance is uh, far too high still. So that is uh, something we'll uh, get in here. With a couple of more ski patrol lodges, uh, we'll. Uh, have them here, or as many as we can, pretty much, uh, so they can work down the mountain from the top. Can we squeeze in one more? We can. So, do we want to do even more? Right, that, that's going to be everything, really. We have 14, 16, so. That should be all right. That's going to eat up six more volunteers here. I hope that it's just going to be worth it, but I guess it is. So like that. So that's taken care of. I really would want services like kind of just a, a list of uh, how uh, how many people they are. Everywhere. Tea room is all right. Sun room here, definitely all right. And here too. So, definitely don't have really that many takers anywhere here on the first side, other than this. It's uh, far more on the other side, or especially on uh, the third entry, so to say. But we should have something here at the bottom, at least. Uh, we have a decent number of things that we don't have here, but a raclette stand maybe and a small shelter. We'll build them just smack bang in the middle here. Pretty much, uh, but we'll actually rotate these so thing. So thing. Not so thing, but something like that. And uh, we'll have a small shelter too, as I said. Have that there. Yeah. Satisfaction overall is good here with our skiers. In general, at 70 or set over 70%. So that's nice. It's not perfect, but it's all right. We want it to go even higher though, of course and get a higher reputation and number of profiles in our resort. I don't really think we're going to be able to get in that many more. Let's see here. What do we need? So we need 150 of these guys. And I guess that's the same for everyone. So these two aren't that far off, I guess. The retired teachers and the, the rising stars. But what do they need more? Challenge and, and endurance for the retired teachers, and that's for blacks. So I don't really think we can do that. 
uh, the reds or the rising stars, they have pretty good challenge and exploration, very good energy, and food, security, good, we're definitely putting that up. Frequency of use is pretty low, and I still don't understand what that really means, so I don't really think we can do much with that either, unfortunately. So what we can work on is different things like that, so I guess let's do that too. Yeah, uh, let's see if to take care of the issue with the cure there at least. So happiness is going up here a little bit more and everything is looking pretty dandy at the moment. So I said, I don't think we'll really get that much further. So let's slow the game down here and uh, we'll check out our map and uh, possibly add in a little bit of a run or something like that. Also, as we're, as we're going to look through here, it's not going to be a super long episode, but also I'll uh, post maybe a link to uh, to the save if you're interested in looking at the save or using that yourself. Let me know in the comments if that's the case. Uh, Otherwise, we're probably here after this episode, pretty much, going to do some uh, episodes on the mods that are available here in Snowtopia and how you can enable them and what you can do with mods. And uh, also starting a new challenge here, or rather the same challenge on the next map, starting a regular let's play on a new map. We're going to show you uh, something else to here on the channel, maybe even before this gets out. Uh, that's Startopia, uh, the very classic game, at least for me, that has uh, like 10, 20 years on its neck. 20 probably, more than 10. Uh, it's getting a new version uh, out here in March, I believe. I'm actually going to try that out in a beta just after recording this so hopefully you will enjoy that too something something of an old uh, goldie that we hope are that it's still today or in the new version so we'll check that out uh, i know i played that tons when i were a kid hopefully you did too and i will recognize it and uh, think that it's fun but we'll see uh, let's focus here instead on Snowtopia, but uh, yeah, last but uh, not least, uh, do you press the buttons, you know, thumbs up or like button and the subscribe button and things like that if you haven't done so yet. So, uh, let's start from the top and look ourselves down to where we started. So basically this is the flatter area, uh, the beginner area, and it's... Uh, it's all right. Does that really make us see? No, we can only have one thing at a time. So let's have it like that. Uh, so we have our blue runs here and we have our green runs milling about and we have some uh, more difficult runs that are crossing here and to go down in the green ones. But in general, just Sunday skiing down to the bottom here. And in general, we don't really have many takers anywhere other than on this blue run, and I guess a decent number of that green run. And uh, that's all right. And I do like the overall look here uh, of things. How everything is sort of uh, kneeling or uh, tying together with some uh, some crosses of runs and things like that. And everything kind of go like yeah, green and flattish from here or connecting to here and everything goes blue from this side more gentle throughout or um, more of a uh, same slope throughout so to say. But yeah, I like the look here, and I don't really 
feel or think that we really are missing anything or should add in anything here in terms of runs at least and then we come from the top here again and down in this mess that's not so beautiful and something that I'm not that happy with yeah mainly due to how hard it was to go to come down from this peak towards this village without having it to be anything else than red really so as you see we fought here to get in a blue run that just crosses over everything and then we added in some uh, black runs just for kicks but also mainly we got our run here that started from this cliff that is green going through everything so we kind of had to go over that a lot which is a little bit of a shame <laughs> if we're looking on on this like this it's pretty crazy this area here where we kind of got one run going into the others and we kind of got four runs going together here which is pretty darn crazy and something you don't really want to do in your games of course I do like this kind of cheeky black run I don't really think we have anyone that is really using it well we do actually And they are actually then using the blue. That's interesting. Now the, the blue is entering from, from this. Yeah, it's not crossing. The black is not crossing. The blue is entering from that, I believe at least. So that is making sense after all. So as I do like that cheeky bit, as I said. Uh, other than that, it's not really much here a lot of crossing of uh, runs which is a shame uh, it it looks pretty decent like this this looks a little bit uh, underfed to be honest though kind of like you would go more from here to you i can't really get over the hump here i believe no i don't think i can and also going from here to here i don't know if that would really make much of a difference Let's just for the sake of it, let's see here if I could get in with something like this. <laughs> yeah, I could. So let's, uh, for the sake of it, do build a run like this. Uh, yeah, so we can have like a green run connecting uh, to this side. Uh, that is sort of proper or coming up from here. Well, it, it is sort of proper. I, th I think that's a good addition to our resort. And it makes this area look a little bit less empty. So that's good. <laughs> Definitely like that. Uh, we kind of have the same issue here on this side. And uh, what we can do there is, I guess, that definitely makes sense. Is that in a run from here or uh, coming off from here, it goes towards this area. Uh, where do we connect? Connect like that. Yeah, so that makes sense. Coming down then the last way down here, we obviously have a lot of blacks going on and a little bit of reds. And on the outer edges, blue runs going just a long way around. And I think this is pretty much the most natural kind of mountain you have here or kind of direction and uh, runs uh, that we have got got going here in the frozen peak map or in this first map you see it even better like this 
that you have like the black ones pretty, com pretty much coming straight down and then you have a couple of different red ones taking two different routes uh, one going all the way and one connecting to the black ones and then you have the long family runs around the mountains so to say a classical way to do a ski resort at least here in sweden uh, and this looks overall pretty good uh, i don't feel like this feels empty at all uh, looking at from the side uh, like this this looks a little bit empty uh, but i think that's actually pretty fine run from there could make sense but I think, yeah, exactly. That kind of gets black, and uh, I don't really want to have a black run like that. Or do I? Well, we'll place it there. And yeah, we'll speed up the game, and we'll see here what these two runs become. This becomes green, uh, which I guessed or would feel. And I think this will become black. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that's actually... Where we're going to leave it off here for uh, this episode or this first season, so to say, <laughs> for this uh, challenge series that will continue on uh, next time around on a new map and with mods enabled to uh, believe. So do check out and stay around for that. Uh, thank you very much for watching this time and I hope to see you here soon again. Bye bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.